All right, today we're going to be talking about a couple of things. How to get your buffering stopped on your box or your XBMC or Kodai installation. So <clears throat> this should help, and this should actually works for any of the distributions. So let's go ahead and go into File Manager under System. Go to File Manager, okay? And even though my skin may look a little different than yours, the steps are the same. This is just a, a confluence skin. And then the next step that we want to go to is is the profile directory right here so let's open that up and then you should see an advanced settings .xml. if you don't then don't worry about it but uh, you wanna hit the context menu and then you wanna delete this file here okay now let's head back out next thing we wanna do is go to programs click on programs and then head down to where it says get more and then under get more you want to look for easy advanced settings click on that choose install I already have installed so I'm gonna go ahead and just launch it but uh, before I do I want to show you how to get into it from another way so let's back out of this after you install back out you want to go into programs and then you want to go into easy advanced settings run that you want to edit the settings we want to go into network settings and then go into network again and then make sure that these values are in here I already have them in here but you want to make sure that these are in here so click on enter erase the word disabled and enter the number 419-430-40 for buffer mode you want to enter 1 and then for read buffer you want to enter 4.0 after you erase the disabled after you're done, you want to back out of this twice. One, let me go back in there. One, two, three. So three times. And then choose write XML file. There you go. Your file has been written and you are essentially done. That is it for this tutorial. This is how you fix the buffering. If you want to get some other awesome updates, I'm going to show you how to update the file down here you see this thing scrolling okay uh, on your box you may have one already but if you want to change that let me show you where that's at so what you're gonna do is go to the home menu choose on setting a uh, system set rather go to appearance and then go to edit under the skin area on the left hand side go down to edit the RSS feed and we want to choose yes to download the editor Okay, and so you can see right now there's a, a feed here. Your, may, your, your feed may look different or you may not even have a feed. But to add our feed to get updates like this and what's going on, all you have to do is add JSTV box.tumblr.com forward slash RSS. Okay, so JSTV box tumblr dot com forward slash rss hit done and interval I guess means how many days I'm just going to choose done leave that at default and then I'll remove this top one so that we can get updates on just that one there so I'm just going to remove that one and there we go we're done now if I back out of this you should see the updates there you go You'll be getting updates from us, tips and updates from uh, our feed. That way you can see it down at the bottom of your box. And you can always modify that accordingly. So um, make sure to update that. If you are purchased a box from uh, JSTVbox.com or you want to get updates and tips from this kind of cool stuff, then just add us on there and you'll get some of our updated feeds. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And thanks again, Marianne Mason on the team who was able to share with us this information to help you guys stop the buffering. Thank you.